Hi guys, my name is Sylvain Filippi, CTO of the DS Virgin Racing Formula E team. I'm here with our brand new DSV03 and today we are going to talk about the difference between energy and power. So when you talk about electric cars, electric race cars in, in particular, um, you might hear a different terminology that you would normally um, be used to for the, for the internal combustion world. So the two main terms that you need to understand are kilowatt and kilowatt hour. The first one, kilowatt, is purely a denomination for power. So you could actually translate a kilowatt into a horsepower and get the horsepower equivalent. These cars, as you know in season four, are able to deliver 200 kilowatts um, in terms of uh, uh, power for qualifying, which translates roughly to about 270 horsepower. The second aspect, which is a bit more complex to understand, is the kilowatt hour denomination. And it's really important because that doesn't measure the power, it measures the amount of energy. So if you look at the Formula E battery, it has a 28 kilowatt hour uh, usable energy. That doesn't mean at all the kind of power that the battery delivers, it um, uh, explains how much energy is in that actual battery. So if you were to compare to a petrol car, you would compare that to your fuel tank. And 28 kilowatt hour would be your 20 liters of fuel and 54 kilowatt hours would be 20 liters of fuel or whatever. So you measure it in terms of how many um, kilowatts you are able to develop over an hour. And that's how you measure it. So Formula E being a one day event, as you can imagine, we need to recharge these batteries quite a lot during the day uh, throughout free, free practice one, free practice two, um, qualifying and racing and so on. So the way batteries work is that we are able to fast charge um, uh, these batteries at a, um, a rate of 40 kilowatts, um, which means that we are able to recharge a battery fully in less than an hour. Um, but what you need to know is that uh, the way you charge a battery is not linear. It's a little bit like the analogy of filling um, a glass of water. So if I give you an empty glass and I tell you to fill it uh, full of water as quickly as you can, what you will do most likely is fill it really, really fast at the beginning and then slow down at the end when you, when you tip it off. Batteries work pretty much the exact same way. So when you recharge it from, let's say, 0%, so completely empty, all the way to 80% um, state of charge, you are able to recharge this battery really quickly. But for the last you know, 10, 15, 20%, the rate of charge will then decrease because you now need to be a bit more subtle in a way of which energy and how much um, uh, electricity you charge into each cell to make sure that your battery is balanced correctly. So what you tend to do is um, char charge the battery very quickly all the way to 80%, and then if you don't have to charge the last 5% or 10%, then you don't do it because it will take a lot more time to charge um, the, this last bit of battery. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. To subscribe to our channel, click here. And to watch more videos, click here.